Hello everyone, my name is Diana Drury and I'm a Solutions Engineer at Pax8. Today I'll be taking you through a couple of tools, tips and tricks for managing the upcoming NCE price rise within the Pax8 architecture, as well as what you'll need to do to update your PSA sync. So the first thing to note is how do I find out what's coming up for renewal? What's the quickest way to do that? So for anyone using Pax8 platform for those subscriptions, you'll want to jump into tools, click on Microsoft tools, and then on NCE tracker. I've already opened this in another tab. I have also additionally already filtered by what is due in the next 30 days. So you can see here, these subscriptions are all due for renewal in August. We'll be wanting to keep an eye out for anything that is due for renewal in September rather than in August, because anything in August will renew at that price. So we can also download this as a CSV. As I'm looking at monthly subscriptions here, I will be able to extrapolate here that anything that's next renewal is the 25th of August, the subsequent renewal would be the 25th of September, and that would be the date that I'm keeping an eye out for for that subscription. You can also expand this to see the dates for any of these subscriptions. As you can see, some of these already have a September date. This can be exported to CSV and further filtered from there. So what do we do once we know that a subscription will have its price change? Well, I'm going to go to one that I prepared earlier. So in this particular instance, you can see that the MSRP for this subscription is currently $17, but this MSP is selling it at 20. If this is an intentional price rise or intentional increase, and I would like to keep that, I can click modify, and I will, I will see on the date that the price rises for that subscription, the new MSRP for that subscription. What this allows me to do is either adjust my pricing to the new MSRP or include any additional margin as I already am for this particular subscription. I would then select the start date to be the day that that price rise is coming through, accept the terms and conditions and submit as you would do with any other sort of change to a subscription, including a quantity change. For the purposes of today, I'm going to hit cancel. From there, I will then need to sync this subscription. Some of you may already be using our auto sync functionality. Auto sync will only take effect when account change happens. We cannot automatically change any pricing into the PSA without the partner or you as, your, as an MSP manually making that change. So for example, if I hit sync here, this will take me through the standard sync workflow. So onto the product and then onto the agreement page. It will remember what agreement I sync to and also pick up the next effective date. For most of these changes, you will be looking at an effective date of the 1st of October as the price rise happens in September. So there will be a prorate generated for the different pricing structure as we would be prorating it to you. I would then want to update the cost and price to better reflect what the new cost and price are, as that is what will continue to feed into the PSA. Once I have finished this sync, any subsequent changes to that subscription, including things like additional licenses or license dial downs, will be able to retain the auto sync functionality as I have now informed it of what the new pricing is. So just to reiterate, you will need to do this for each subscription that is having a price change. For the most part, what you will need to do for these in September will be your month to month subscriptions or any yearly commits that do end in September. And you can use your NCE tracker tool to predict these. I do also recommend that when any of your yearly subscriptions come up for renewal, whether or not they are in September or further down the line, you do review these as they are coming up for renewal, as there is likely to be a price change between now and then. In fact, there will be, as these were, are all rising on 1st of September, but those subscriptions won't inherit those until that commitment term runs out. If you do have any questions, feel free to approach your Pax8 channel account manager and also the support options open to you if outside of normal business hours. We look forward to working with you soon and we do look forward to helping you through this process. Thank you for your time.